In this video, we're going to take a look at arrays. Now, in previous videos, we've been creating variables that hold just a single value. And if we wanted a bunch of values for dirt roads here, we would have to create a variable for each different flavor. So, in other words, we could only hold a single value. Arrays are just simply variables that allows us to hold multiple values. And so instead of having to create a different variable for each one of these values, we can put them all into a container and store them into an array. It just can hold multiple values. So you'll often hear this called an array variable. And that's what this is right here. Roads is our array variable. Now you define an array using square brackets and you can see those right here. And again, these contain all these different values and they get assigned to our array variable. Now, in order to reference a value in here, arrays use a system called an index. And each one of these values has its own index. And it always starts at zero. So stone would have an index number of zero. Dirt would have an index number of one. Cement would have an index number of two, and so on. And so you get the idea. So once again, if we had hundreds of values that we needed to store, it's a lot easier to put those in an array variable than it is to create different variable for each one of these values. Now, how do we access these values? And we do that through the index. So if I wanted to access dirt, for instance, I would use the array name and then the index number, which in this case, of course, is one. That is how we can access values inside of our array. And so how do we use these values? Well, one common way is to assign these values to another variable. And so let's do that. Let's create another variable. Let's say we needed a variable to create a dirt road in a game we had. So we'll create another variable called road traveled. And we'll say equals to. And here is where we specify the array. And then what we do is we need to use the square brackets again. And then we just specify the index number in here, which happens to be one for dirt. So we put that right here. Now I should point out also that these are also referred to as elements. So this would be element zero, this would be element one. I like to call them values, but again, these are also called elements. Multiple elements make up an array. Okay, so now that we've assigned the value of dirt to our new variable, let's go ahead and write this out. And so we'll just do a document.write. Let's go ahead and save this. And we'll go ahead and run it in Chrome as we always do. And there you see we get dirt. Now, you might ask the question, how do I update an array? That is, let's say we wanted to change the value of one of these. And there is a way to do that. So let's say we wanted to change dirt to cobblestone. Well, we could do that by specifying the array name and then the index number and then the new value that you want. So I'll show you how we do that. So I'll just copy and paste right here because I already had it written out. So here we go, we specify the array name, we're specifying one for this element right here, which is dirt, and then we're saying, hey, assign it a new value of cobblestone. Now if we rerun this, we won't get dirt anymore because we reassigned the value here in the array to cobblestone, and then this now should be written out as cobblestone. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's go ahead and run it. And there you see we get the new update, cobblestone, which is what we wanted. Now, I should point out that this is not the only way that you have to write out an array. And so let me copy and paste this in here. And I'm just going to keep this commented out because we're not actually going to run this. But here is a different way to create an array. Now, it's doing the same thing as this array up here. The only difference is this is considered longhand the longhand way of creating an array, this is considered the shorthand. And if you take a look at this, here we are creating an empty array in the beginning, whereas in the shorthand way to do this, we're putting all the values inside the array when we create the array. Here we are just creating an empty array, and then we're going to go ahead and assign the values at a later time. And you will notice though here that you actually have to specify the index number for each one of these. So that's that's different than the shorthand version. Now, some people like this version better because they like to see the index numbers. Other developers like the shorthand way. Okay, that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.